From our engagements with our various Turkish counterparts and partners, it has become very evident and very clear that we share a similar outlook and agree on a range of topics that are strategically important to both of us. It is, in fact, our common interests, genuine commitment, and shared vision for peace, stability, and true prosperity, not just for us, but for the both. Murat Yeshil Tash is a director of security studies at the Seta Foundation think tank and also an associate professor uh, in the Middle East Institute at Sakarya University in Turkey. And, and he joins us now live from Ankara. Welcome to the program. Um, what do you think is uh, the importance here for Turkey Gulf relations and also uh, the broader stability in the region? Yeah, first of all, I think this is a historical visit, uh, not only for Turkey, UAA, United Arab Emirates relations, but also uh, for the region and for the future of the uh, region. Uh, it is common to speak about the divergences between Turkey and United Arab Emirates in the last decades vis-à-vis uh, -vis the regional issues. After 10 years, uh, this visit, I think, uh, uh, was very important uh, to deepening the relationship between Turkey and United Arab Emirates. It will also impact the uh, normalization process in the region uh, in which uh, the Turkey has been uh, trying to uh, develop is, uh, and normalize its relations with the other countries, such as Egypt, Israel, Saudi Arabia. And United Arab Emirates now, I think, is, is one of the important countries that Turkey is trying to normalize its relations. So, But uh, I think it is also a textbook example to see uh, uh, how, uh, you know, Turkey is approaching uh, the Middle East in development, because, you know, uh, when we look at the recent uh, development in the regions, there are some push factors and pull factors for both countries. In the context of the, the regional developments, I think uh, many countries in the regions reach uh, their limits in terms of, you know, strategic engagements, political engagements. Mm -hmm. So there are limits mm -hmm. for, uh, for, for Turkey, there are limits uh, for United Arab Emirates. Secondly, uh, I think uh, the United Arab Emirates engagement against Turkey uh, in the region is costly for United Arab Emirates. I think this is understood, this is clearly clear that United Arab Emirates is also trying to improve its relations with Turkey especially in the context of its, uh, you know, economic relations and diplomatic relations. Okay. Libya, okay. Syria, Murat, just, just for clarity, you know, on this point of, you know, what is driving this uh, rapprochement, uh, you mentioned uh, reaching their limits, uh, it being costly. What else? Mm. Uh, I think, uh, yes, uh, it, 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 is, it is costly for United Arab Emirates, you know, to struggle against Turkey in Libya. And both countries in the region now, I think, uh, perceive the regional development from a very positive way. There is an, there is an ongoing escalation process, not only between Turkey and United Arab Emirates, but also between other countries. So there is a strategic opportunity uh, uh, for two countries to, you know, de-escalate the regional uh, geopolitical competition. So therefore, I think this is the main uh, deriving push factors uh, for the United Arab Emirates and Turkey, there are also pull factors that both countries can increase uh, their economic relations. United Arab Emirates is trying to, you know, uh, uh, relocate itself as an economic power, which ultimately influences its diplomatic engagement. So after the Biden administration, you know, changed its, po its policies in Afghanistan and changed its policies towards the Middle East, I think both countries in, in the region have to reconsider their uh, strategic priority. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. So therefore, I think this is an important strategic moment that can influence the other normalization process in the, in the region. Murat, yes, Shiltash, thank you so much. We really appreciate your analysis today.